Well, here's our next toolkit entry for Chapter 10. And as you can see up here, the title is called Intersecting Chords. Uh, and go ahead and draw this picture into your toolkit here. And you'll notice here we have two chords that intersect. They intersect right here at this point. And you'll notice here, here we have one chord. That's the blue one. And here's the other chord. And they do intersect in the middle of, of the circle here. And if we were to draw on these dotted lines right here, you would notice we have a triangle. Here's a triangle right over here. And then we have a second triangle, which would be the one up on top here. And as it turns out, and we will, we've talked about this in class, but these two triangles happen to be similar. So what you can do is you can say, therefore, that A over D would equal C over B. So basically, what it all amounts to is this, is this little part here, this formula enables you to find any of the missing pieces here. So you can say A times B, so this distance right here, times the distance here, so A times B will equal C times D. This is the very important formula that you want to make sure you have in your toolkit here. And in a moment here, I'm going to show you how it actually works with actual numbers here. So let's go ahead down here. Go ahead, take a minute, draw this circle into your toolkit. Once again, you'll notice here we have two intersecting chords, and they intersect in the middle of the circle here. And in a moment, we're going to find the distance LN. So I'm going to find LN right now. Here is LN, and I'm going to call that X, because I'm not sure what this distance is. But in the picture, or it tells you over here on the side that JN is 7. So JN is 7. So this distance from here to here is 7. MN is 5. So I'm going to put a 5 right here. And KN is 14. You know, 14 units, 14 centimeters, whatever here. So basically, here's, here's how this uh, works here. If you were to take 7 and multiply it by X, so that's 7 times X, it will equal... 5 times 14. So here's your 5, and here's your 14. So 7 times x, obviously, is 7x. 5 times 14 is 70. Therefore, if you divide by 7, you get x equals 10. So that means x, right over here, is no longer x. It is 10. So 7 times 10 will equal 5 times 14. That's true. And one other thing here, just to make sure you see it here, the these don't add up together. So for instance, if I took 7 plus 10, it does not equal 5 plus 14. Okay, so we multiply them together, each piece here. We don't add them together. It does, they will not equal each other if you add them. It's always about multiplying. All right, so that's how that one works. Make sure that gets in your toolkit.